In the weeks between Passover and Shavuot, we study Pirkei Avot, the ethics of our fathers. At the very conclusion of Pirkei Avot, we see a teaching at the very end of the fifth chapter that's quoted in the names of, of two sages who have very unusual names, Ben Bagbag and Ben Heihe. And there's a tradition that Bagbag is an acronym that stands for the words Ben Ger, Ben Gioret, which means the, the son or the descendant of a proselyte, of a convert. And Heihe, well, there's one family in the Torah in which Hey, hey, two letters, hey, becomes quite significant, and that's Abraham and Sarah. Avram is given a letter, hey, becomes Avraham. Sarai is given the letter, hey, becomes Sarah. Ben, hey, hey, could represent Avraham and Sarah, who were seen as, as the parents of, of all converts, and those who not only themselves came to the religion with, with fresh eyes and embraced monotheism when no one else did, but also were the ones who led, who brought so many people so much closer to tradition. And it could be that they're really the same because Bagbag, bag, the Hebrew uh, bet gimel, the, the numerical value of bet and gimel, two and three equals five, which is represented by the letter hey. So bag bag could equal hey hey. And we close our study of Perkei Avot with these, with these sages, perhaps to offer a lesson. Number one, that the Torah is accessible to all. No matter at what point in life one comes close to the, to the tradition, one opens the Torah to study, the Torah is accessible to all. Bag, bag, hey, hey, represent those who come, who weren't born into the faith, but who come, who come to the faith through, through other ways and ultimately have equal access to our tradition. And perhaps it's also giving us a way to see Shavuot, a way to see the giving of the Torah, a way to understand the revelation at Sinai, renewed every day, to see it with fresh eyes, to see it through the eyes of a convert, of one who comes to Judaism in a, in a different way and, and certainly shows no, no weariness to the tradition, yet another Shavuot, but rather to understand that Shavuot is an opportunity to see the Torah with new, with fresh eyes. Stay healthy, stay well, stay at home, and stay connected.